Using hardware description languages in Tina Cloud Part 1 Creating Macros from VHDL Hardware description languages are powerful tools to describe and simulate complex electronic devices. In this tutorial video, we will show you how you can create a macro from a VHDL.VHD code and use in Tina Cloud. You can create macros from Verilog, Verilog A, and Verilog AMS files in a similar way. You can create a macro from any .vhd, .v, .va, .vams file that contains an entity, interface to the outside world, with its architecture, description of the hardware. The meaning of the file extensions is as follows. Files with the .vhd extension are vhdl files. Files with the .v extension are Verilog files. Files with the .va extension are Verilog A files, and the files with the .vams extension are Verilog AMS files. The ports declared in the interface part will automatically appear in the macro symbol, shape. By default, the input ports of the interface will appear on the left side of the generated macro shape, and the output ports of the interface will appear on the right side. But by editing the generated macro, you can change this arrangement. For example, consider now the following VHDL interface. In this case, the AB ports will appear on the left side, and the SC ports will appear on the right side of the macro shape. Let's see how to make a macro from the following VHDL code, a half adder, with Tina Cloud. Note, the essential code of the half adder is two lines long only. Start Tina Cloud. To invoke the schematic editor, click the Tools menu. Select the schematic editor. The schematic editor appears. Click the Insert button with the green plus sign to invoke the Insert menu. Select Upload Macro. Let's name the macro as Half Adder VHDL. Switch into From File from Current Circuit. We assume that you already have an offline version of Tina on your computer, and we will select a file which we will turn into a VHDL macro from the original folder of the offline Tina. Click Choose Files. From the Tina Examples folder, select the VHDL folder. Then open the half underscore adder underscore VHDL dot VHD file. Click Upload. The following note appears. Macro uploaded. Click OK. To insert the uploaded macro, click the Insert button and then select Insert Macro. From the User Macros window, select Half Adder VHDL, then click OK. The macro will be attached to your cursor, and you can place it anywhere on the workspace. To check its content, double-click the macro, then press the three dots button in the HDL code line. The VHDL code of the macro appears. Press OK to close the property window with the VHDL code. Press OK again to close the properties dialog. Let's test our macro in Tina Cloud's digital interactive mode and compare the results with the truth table of the half adder. To do this, place two high load digital switches from the switches toolbar, one for each of the AB inputs and two logic indicators. Draw the wires. Save the circuit under the name Half Adder Test Circuit. Now press the Dig button. Click the switches to change the input states. 
The logic levels of the node appear, red for high, blue for low. The logic indicators will also show the logic level of the outputs in a red square for high and empty square for low. The half adder circuit works as required. For more tutorials, visit our website at www.tina.com slash English slash Tina slash video underscore tutorials. Download the demo version of Tina Design Suite and you will get an immediate 20% discount from the offline version of Tina free license for your second computer, laptop, etc. One year free access to Tina Cloud, the cloud-based multi-language installation free online version of Tina running in your browser anywhere in the world.